please subscribe so you won't miss any of these travel videos that I'm doing interspersed uh, in Get Real in the Kitchen. It's about uh, the fact that I've been to nine countries in nine months. And so I am discovering some things that are really valuable to make this travel easier uh, en route as well as uh, on, on the ground. And what was interesting, and the reason I kind of came up with, I've got to do this video, is that I was watching a lot of travel packing tip videos uh, and airplane you know, tip videos, which was, they were fun. And, um, but I noticed that nobody ever said what I'm going to talk about here. And it has been, it's, it's just been a lifesaver. So let's start with the fact that uh, you're going through security, so yes, you do not want anything in your pockets at that point. But if you're going to add something to your pockets, you can add things after security. Now you're getting to the plane, and here's where the trouble begins. When you get onto that plane for these uh, long international flights, they dim the lights. In fact, it's almost dark in there all the time. And the frustrating thing is that you actually need something, some things to put your hands on for comfort. Um, and I was, I had them with me. I knew where I had them somewhere in my carry on. I just couldn't find them. So um, I am learned to do a much better job. And the trick to it is zippered pockets. And uh, let's start with a vest. Uh, I have wearing these vests with zipper pockets in them almost constantly when I'm traveling around and um, but also on the plane. I also have uh, a jacket with uh, zipper pockets on the plane, lots of pockets, deep pockets, and a pocket inside for my passport. Uh, since you can't see anything, okay, and I think that what's interesting is a lot of us are just not aware there are so many items out there that have pockets. For example, there is, this is a skirt, and I didn't order it because I didn't know it had a zipper pocket. It's a, a zipper, a skirt, with a zipper pocket in it. Um, then for wearing on the plane, this is a pair of uh, uh, plant pants that would work really wear, well on the plane because they're lightweight with these zipper pockets, uh, big deep ones. But let's say you wanna wear shorts on the, tr on the plane. Um, these shorts that I bought, actually bought them for hiking and I wasn't paying any attention that they have zipper pockets in them. So that would be a good option. Capris with zipper pockets, yes, they have those too. Then as far as lighter wear, uh, as you're wandering about touring, uh, there are uh, like shirts like this. It has like three zipper pockets, one up here, one on the side, two on the side. This is an REI brand. Um, this is a Royal Robins a very lightweight top with a zipper pocket at the chest. And same with this. This is a scarf uh, that has, it's, it's actually an infinity scarf, as you can see, but it has a zipper pocket in it. So there you go. Uh, this is a running band, um, and you could wear this on your wrist with a zipper pocket. So let's talk about why, why this is so important. Uh, it's important because um, when you're fumbling about, like th these plane rides can be quite long. Uh, I'm leaving for Indonesia, it's 17 hours on one, on one plane. It is 36 hours from the time I leave my house until I get to my first hotel room. I really need to be organized and I'm gonna need some things. Now, this looks like a lot of stuff, but a little bit of it is bulky, right? Because I'll, I'll pare it down a little bit, but as you spread it around different items of clothing. Now this does not mean that I don't recommend neck belts and um, money belts. I, yes, I do use those, very important. I'm talking with these zipper pockets about accessing things that you need uh, just to keep handy uh, and not lose track of while, while you're out and about. So some things you would need on the plane. And, and this was a thing, just really silly stuff. I was constantly dropping my ear, earbuds on the plane and I, I don't know where they went. Um, so, but if I just go ahead and put them in a zipper pocket, I can access them. 
So what are some of these things you might need? I highly recommend a flashlight, uh, a little tiny one for, uh, <laughs> for travel, even though you have a phone, uh, because it's so easy to, to turn on and look in, in your luggage, and that could be anywhere. I've dropped keys on rental car uh, uh, floors in, in the dark. Here's some other things. You could put in, you could put in your zipper pockets, your eye mask, pen and pencil, toothpaste with a small toothbrush. Because remember, 36 hours, you're gonna need to brush your teeth. These little uh, Colgate Opti, uh, optic white wisps are great because they're just, you don't even need water to brush your teeth. Um, this has all sorts of things that, it, uh, that I can put into different pockets. Um, uh, it has um, mints and uh, cool pocket, pocket mints. It has uh, lip balm, hand cream, all those kind of things. Another thing that you may lose track of easily is your uh, charger. Then you need to keep track of your bacterial wipes. Maybe you want to keep some Pepto-Bismol with you. Or, um, yeah, I always have some um, nasal decongestant and such, but couldn't find it. And uh, gum, yeah, couldn't find that either. Then uh, my medication that I need to take en route, I put this in a little pocket. Some sanitizer, Kleenex, and this is last but not least. And what this is, is um, a little bit of um, instant coffee, tea bags, um, that sort of thing. You can ask for hot water on the plane. So you might be able to refresh yourself that way some, some sweetener packets, um, and maybe some of your vitamin C, right? These things are very helpful, but can you find them? So if you can put them in different pockets, you really aren't that bulky. And lastly, why is this really so important? Well, I was carrying this around as a day bag on my last trip, and I was just uh, not thinking, and I stuffed well, this, um, my sunglasses into this little out, outside pouch, right, as we were standing on the street. And then as we got ready to walk into a church to tour it, I noticed I don't have sunglasses anymore. But I did remember that somebody had bumped up against me hard while I was actually with my tour group and had taken the sunglasses out. And they were gone for the trip. So keep everything in zip pockets is good sense. What about zip pockets that are on the back of your pants? I'm not sure those are a good idea, and that leads me into this last comment. Um, the pickpockets can get to your back pockets in many different ways. So an experienced traveler knows to keep, when you're out and about touring, to keep things in your front pockets, zipped, on the front of your chest, underneath the vest, that sort of thing with what we talked about, the neck, the neck wallet. Um, so that, that they're not easily accessible. The, I just saw on one video that um, there was a tour group in France, 20 people on the walking tour in, in Paris. At the end of the walking tour, six people had lost their passport. It had been lifted by a pickpocket. I'm not picking on Paris, this happens anywhere. But this is why the zip pocket can be invaluable. And I have no trouble believing that story. So this is my uh, suggestion for zip pockets. It's get real in the kitchen with Deanna Olson, but come back for some more travel tips. One take, live, and I'll see you next time.